That was financial analyst Meredith Whitney, Whitney on CBS's 60 Minutes. It was her frightening forecast about the municipal bond market, fearing, sparking fears of a bond meltdown. Let me remind you, though, the Cudlow viewer, that she is not the first to sound the alarm. Take a listen to what the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, had to say about it last June. How would I rate states and major municipalities? I mean, if the federal government will step in to help them, they're AAA. If the federal government won't step in to help them, who knows what they are. I don't know how I would rate those myself now. I mean, in other words, it, because it's a bet on how the federal government will act over time. Wow. So will the federal government come to the rescue? Just how freaked out should you be? about a muni meltdown. Here now is Peter Schiff, president of Euro Pacific Capital Radio, host and author of How an Economy Grows and Why It Crashes. And Don Luskin, he's chief investment officer at Trend Macro. Guys, good to see you. So this is a multi-layer discussion. Let's first start out with the underlying premise that Meredith Whitney has, which she says, we've got a muni meltdown coming, that these guys are not, the states aren't going to be able to pay their bills. Peter Schiff, is she right? Well, I saw that 60 Minutes program. I think she's sugarcoating it. You know, I've been telling my clients to sell their municipal bonds for years because I could see this train wreck coming from a mile away. I mean, the problem is you had all these states and local governments that made all sorts of promises, particularly to their employees, in terms of uh, pension benefits, health care benefits. They borrowed a lot of money in the process. The bills are coming due. The taxpayers can't afford to pay. They either have to default on their promises or default on their debts. And the worst possible scenario is that the government government bails them out. Either we're we're going to get to that, but we're, hold on. That's, that's the second layer of discussion. But Don Leskin, do you agree with the underlying premise? Are we at some point here where we've just got a crisis when it comes to municipal bonds across the United States? Well, look, I, I didn't hear Meredith Whitney or Warren Buffett use the word meltdown, use the word crisis. You know, really, let's, let's all get a grip on this. We know that there are all kinds of financial stresses throughout this economy and throughout all the developed economies in the world. The good news is that we're coming out of a very deep recession and recoveries are like a wonderful medicine that makes all problems at least a little <laughs> bit smaller. All right. So what, look, whatever is going to happen. I mean, I happen to be talking to you from California, which is always said to be the grease of the United States. This is supposed to be where all the problems right. are. And in case you haven't noticed, the lights are actually on. OK, <laughs> so if I so understand you, John, you're, you're making the point here. that, OK, there can be a lot of defaults, but it's not necessarily a systemic crisis that brings us all to yeah. our knees. Yeah, why should okay, it be? Right. Peter Schiff, it, 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 okay, so it's going to be bad. You shouldn't own the muni bonds, but is it going to lead to the debilitating 2008, you know, everything's on fire situation, or is it just going to be around the defaults and we're well, going to get over it? I think the municipal problem is part of the larger crisis that is coming, because as interest rates rise, it's not only going to be the states that can't pay, but the federal government that can't pay, and more and more pressure is going to be put on the Federal Reserve to be the buyer of only resort to continue to print money but not only to buy treasuries, but to now buy municipal bonds to prevent them from having to default. Ben Bernanke is going to be inflation. buying Harrisburg's water? That's well, what you're telling me? <laughs> they're going to start buying everything and printing money to do it. And that's, you know, you're going to see more increases in commodity prices, well, uh, but food hold, prices. But here's the thing. Here, now, if you, do you really believe, do you believe, I, I know you think the government shouldn't bail out the municipalities, but if you believe that they will, then they're actually a really good buy right no, now, no, right? No, they're not. They're a lousy buy because the money they print to bail out these states will render the bonds uh, worth a lot less. You lose either way. Either you lose because the states default and you don't get your money back, or you lose because the government bails them out and you get your money back, but you can't buy anything with it. So you have to get your money out now and you invest around the world. You buy gold, silver, commodities. You buy Don foreign Luskin, stocks. You, you, you get you, out of Dodge. Don, you got any opinion on whether or not people should be buying muni bonds? I mean, they started to... It was just this week because of what Meredith Whitney said. The minute the right, election happened, yeah, they, they started to sell week. off pretty dramatically. Even right after the election, a lot of people said, gosh, with a far more conservative Congress, they're going to be far less likely to bail out states like President Obama's home state, Illinois. So the right. bailout likelihood has gone down dramatically. Now yeah, that I they've sold the, off so dramatically, are, 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 they, are they biased now? Well, 
I think I, I honestly think there are holds, but look, I think that political risk is very real because the states that are in the worst trouble are blue states, and that's not a coincidence. All right, that's how they got in trouble, and they are very, very blue states. All right, we just elected a Democratic governor here in California. I I don't understand how in the last election we <laughs> kept it illegal to smoke marijuana and yet elected Jerry Brown <laughs> governor. I mean, yeah. unbelievable contradiction. But there you have it. Yeah. But my point is that if Jerry Brown picks up the phone and tries to call the Speaker of the House to get a bailout for this state, John Boehner isn't going to even return yeah. the call. But the problem, so Don, is, is real risk. The, the Fed can do an end around the Congress and just bail them out all on their own, just like they did with the TARP. They can start going into the market and buying these bonds, creating a phony market and propping them up. I mean, that's what they did with the auto companies. Congress initially voted not to bail out the auto companies, and then the Federal Reserve came in and did it anyway. What, what do you think, Don? I mean, I, I, do you think that the Federal Reserve could in this political climate? I mean, they claim they're not a political animal, but we know otherwise. Look, that... That's an unknown, Fed, isn't it? The, Fed, the, the Fed is the lender of last resort. And the Fed, it's the Fed's job, it's been the, centri, the job of every central bank for centuries to identify in banking crises well, good the, credits that temporarily They haven't been around for centuries. And step it... Well, I think they have, Peter. Well, like, this, you look we're at almost the, the on work. 100 years for the Fed. You digress. So you digress. Let him finish his point. <laughs> you know, I'm. You know, I'm talking about the the work that Ben Bernanke cites all the time from the 19th century Bank of England. So, you know, can we just uh, agree on that, Peter? Or are you going to nitpick <laughs> me to death? All right, gentlemen. You know what? It's Christmas. Let's end it there. It's been so pleasant. Peter Schiff, well, it was always good to see you. We're both in bankrupt states. Connecticut is broke too. Yeah, there you go. And Don and they, Luskin we elected as well. a Democrat. Thank you, guys. All right. Coming up, we just thought.